Hi everyone, welcome to BISP Solutions. This is Farha Alam and in this tutorial we are going to learn about the another uh, inbound integration tool uh, provided by Oracle and that is uh, HDL in the Oracle Fusion HCM Cloud. So basically it's an in, uh, inbound integration tool through which we can load or import uh, the bulk data in our cloud instance so let's take a quick uh, overview on uh, this one uh, so what is hdl basically it's hdl stands for hcm data loader uh, it's a tool provided by oracle through which we can load uh, the bulk data in our cloud instance uh, HCM data loader supports a flexible pipe delimited file format. It means that uh, each and every uh, instance uh, um, when we load uh, data in uh, any particular instance, there is a file format supported by each. So here in uh, Oracle Fusion, uh, the um, HDL basically supports uh, the, the date uh, dot date format uh, through which uh, file format through which we can uh, load uh, the bulk data in our instance. Uh, so the next is the dot, the dot, the, the, the dot date file allow us to load the business objects in bulk like job grades department location position etc so the question comes what are business objects basically business objects are the uh, objects uh, through uh, which uh, uh, a particular organization uh, runs like uh, we have to load the, the jobs in the particular organization we have to load the grades department locations position after loading all these objects we will be able to uh, proceed further so these are basically the business object which we are going to load via this hdl so here let's get started we are going to see how do we um, get uh, the business object so basically this is the cloud instance i have already logged in and from here uh, we are going to download our template file for the business object so in my case i am going to uh, load the job so here uh, under this home page uh, we have to go to this my client group option and under it just go to data exchange option and here under it we have this option called view business object click on this one when we click on it we'll be able to see uh, these objects so uh, here from here we have to search uh, the particular object which we want uh, uh, to download so uh, i have already uh, i'm going to show you about the job so this is the job search for this one and here we can see this uh, object and uh, we have to just select it and we have to click on this refresh object and uh, after refreshing it um, we have to refresh this uh, uh, object until uh, the last refresh date will get turned into today's date so i have already uh, done all these things that's why uh, i am able to see the uh, last refresh date uh, uh, for today's date so after refreshing it uh, we will be able to download the template file and for time being i have already downloaded this template and this is basically the file which i had uh, downloaded so uh, this this is basically the file format supported by hdl metadata so metadata basically uh, metadata is the, basically the row which uh, uh, contains the header information for the particular object like uh, job, source system owner, its effective start date, code, name, status. These are the uh, headed, header information for this particular object. And then comes merge. So merge basically contains the row data or the rows information for the uh, uh, this, uh, for these uh, for this headers like a job, 
for system owner uh, if you want to fill so uh, here i have uh, filled all the mandatory fields so uh, the next question is uh, comes into our mind like what are the mandatory fields through which we get the uh, mandatory fields information so i am going to show you that one also under this uh, particular object uh, we have to go to job and under it job basically this contains all the uh, job related uh, uh, business object so here under this one i am going i have clicked on this attribute when i clicked on this attribute so i will get all the uh, uh, attribute related information for this particular job like uh, um, which fields are mandatory so here we can see the required field so we can get the idea uh, which fields are required so jo uh, job id is required effective start date is required job code these are the mandatory fields and from here we can get the information about the mandatory one and based on this information we can fill the information over here and i have prepared this file now the next step is to save this file with an extension dot date so i have already saved this one so i am going to show you how do we uh, save this one job dot date so i have already saved this one that's why it is prompting me so i just want to replace it uh, after saving this one what next we have to do so here after saving this file with an extension dot date we have uh, we just have to compress it or zip it so basically the htl uh, supports the zip file so we have to compress it just right click on this one and click on compress to zip file so we have created a zip file for this one and now the next step is to go to our instance and under uh, this data exchange option exchange data loader click on import and load data and uh, here we have to click on import file and here we have to browse the file and this is the file which we are going to upload click on submit okay and refresh here we can see the import status is in progress right now refresh it so here uh, we have to refresh uh, this uh, uh, particular object until we get uh, the uh, success status for this one import status and load status as well uh, and the next step is to uh, just check out for the job whether it has been successfully downloaded or not so we just have to go to the home page and what was our job what are our jobs basically sales consultant administrator and manager search for this one so go to this profile icon setting and actions go to setup and maintenance click on this global search icon and search for manage job here it is and what is our job sales consultant search for it and here we get this sales consultant code is sales underscore consultant job set uh, is a common set status is active and, uh, next is uh, administrator search for this job also and here we can get this code is add code is admin job set common set status active and next is manager search for this one also and here 
is the manager so this is basically how we can uh, import or load the data uh, or more specifically the business object uh, via hdl in our cloud instance uh, if you have any question regarding this please reach out to us at www.bispsolutions.com and thank you everyone for your time we'll continue in our upcoming session thank you everyone